Joseph C. Dunbar, Jr., African-American physiologist, born 1944, still alive today, as November, as of November 14th, 2021. With over 100 publications to his credit, Joseph C. Dunbar, Jr. is a recognized authority on diabetes, including the roles of insulin and the pancreas in the disease. The primary focus of his research is how, is how insulin levels affect the nervous system and increase the likelihood of cardiovascular problems such as heart attacks and strokes. Dunbar was born on August 27, 1944, in Vicksburg, Mississippi, the son of Joseph C. Dunbar Sr. and Henry N. M. Watkins Dunbar. He grew up in the town of Port Gibson, where his father was an agricultural extension agent and his mother was a schoolteacher. Dunbar and his two sisters all chose careers related to biology. Like his parents and elder sister before him, Dunbar attended Alcorn College in Lorman, Mississippi, where he earned his Bachelor of Science degree in 1963. When he graduated from Alcorn, Dunbar, Dunbar worked for one year as a biology teacher and band director at a high school in Bassville, Mississippi, while he, while he applied to graduate schools and saved money to pay his fees. In 1964, Dunbar began his graduate work at Texas Southern University in Houston. He focused in part on gland functions, and this would be key to his later work on diabetes. He was awarded his master's degree in 1966. After graduation, Texas Southern University asked him to join their faculty, and Dunbar taught there for one year. During this year, he met Agnes Estore, whom he married on July 1st, 1967. They would eventually have two daughters together, Andrea and Erica. In 1967, Dunbar relocated to Detroit, to Detroit, Michigan, where he entered Wayne State University's doctoral program. While a graduate student, Dunbar worked as a research assistant conducting studies related to diabetes. Diabetes is a disease wherein a gland in the pancreas does not produce enough insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar in the body. Dunbar's research concerned chemical alternatives to insulin and new methods of testing these alternatives. He earned his doctoral degree in 1970 and began postgraduate work at Detroit's Sinai Hospital. Dunbar continued to work on research related, related to diabetes. He studied glands, including the reaction of the pancreas to insulin injections, the relationship of body weight and pancreatic function, and how certain glands work, and the reaction to certain medicines. Dunbar remained affiliated with Sinai Hospital until 1978. In 1972, Dunbar was also hired as assistant professor in the physiology department at Wayne State University School of Medicine. His research subjects included the possibilities and implications of pancreas transplants, the relationship of the pancreas and pancreatic functions on the other organs, and the effect of hormones other than insulin on sugar storage and their use in the human body. He is currently trying to determine how diabetes increases the incidence of heart attacks and strokes in people suffering from the disease. His research is concerned specifically with the effect of diabetes on the central nervous system and insulin's role in regulating it. Dunbar was awarded a Minority Achievement Award in 1989. Three years later, in 1992, Dunbar was given the Charles Gershenson Distinguished Faculty Fellowship. By 1998, Dunbar was the chairman of the physiology department at Wayne State University. Citations are in the description.